Alrighty, let's watch this here. There's no sound. We got this here. Cool. Alright. So there's a section that's slightly confusing. And then I feel like the end needs another beat. So basically, we get this. Focus on something. Take something out. Wonder. I don't know. This is this is like a bigger, a bigger change. Maybe through there. I'm trying to even keep that arm a bit cleaner or clearer as it takes it out. But you also want to cheat where it takes it. I think it's okay. This into that. Maybe that hand that will bring up a bit. Cheat is a. We can see a little bit part of that palm there. And then the fingers come in, so it has a bit more of a nicer line versus bam, and then this block is right there. Looks at it. I think that's okay. Okay. This reads long enough, mostly focusing on here. See some symbols there, relentless. Grabs this. Now, you're doing a throw in front of the body, so we're starting to have, because of the color, a bit of a silhouette problem. And then we're here where that's the only thing that breaks free. So the question is, could this be done? I'm totally breaking the shot apart, but could this be done with throwing it up this way for a nicer, cleaner silhouette with the arm and the object and just doing this the other way? I know that's a big destructive note. Just throwing it out there or you do this, but then you go a bit further with a slight pivot so that the foot ends up here with uh, almost like one actual step. So it doesn't feel like we're doing this while it's being stuck to the ground so that you can have this actually here, much smaller. It's a lot more at us. And then you can be a bit more profiles so that that arm ends up being more like that, if that makes sense. Turn. The thing that's confusing to me is then this section. So throws this up waiting for it to land in his hands. And it's kind of missed that he does an adjustment with the finger. And just for clarity, this is the framing there. So it's kind of like a, I guess so. Like once I frame through and I see it and then I watch it, it's like, oh, okay, that's what he's doing. Kind of missed that at the beginning. Also watch out, you don't quite want a straight arm towards camera with the bend this straight towards or away from the camera so that we still understand a bit of the structure, either down or up. This starts to feel like a very short arm. So that to me was a bit of a confusing thing. And then I'm confused because this, that's my dog in the background. This feels more like he gets hit by it, especially in terms of how long, like, ugh, like was that an accident? Is he doing this on purpose? Like this really confused me. And then he goes back into this and watch out for a bit little bit twinned. I know there's an offset and all that, but this has just a slight twinned mirrored feel to it. And then it gets into like a very bored pose. Sometimes it's, I don't know, like, is that, is that the expression for him? Like, is he bored waiting for this change to happen? Is he anxious? Does he know it's going to happen? And he is anticipating like almost with, with some sort of like a giddy pleasure that, ha, I'm about to turn into this. So I can fight this guy? Like, I'm not quite sure if you just watch this neutrally without knowing anything, what the storyline is and what's going on. Especially this, where it feels like more like an accident. Boredom. <sighs> Turning into this, which is always great. But then immediately goes into wet over there. Versus, do we want a bit of moment of, uh, goes into this. Land, settle. A beat. Then move over. To that, because this also feels like, did he just grab something through there? He was very quick in doing this, and he's looking down here. But I guess he didn't grab something? Like, what just happened? And then brings up to this. And right before the cut, there's one more move over here. And you don't want something right before the cut, like a big move. It gets very jarring. So I'm just kind of confused as to what is happening throughout the shot, to be honest. And I think this could be just a bit clearer. Beat to beat, stuff like that. He could land and get ready. Maybe he can still have his head down. Maybe arms are a bit lower. Look up straight again. And then bring the arm over while the head is still fixed on 
or whatever was fixated here so that you know the, the object is still i'm still watching you while the arm goes over so the head's still here looking over then it's ready then the head turns and then this happens i give this another beat so we can have this land and settle basically and watch our eye lines nice looking this way all right hope that makes sense uh let me know in the email we can we can chat about all of this and uh, that's it thanks all right there's an email you can sign up you can start whenever you want you can submit whatever you want you get 16 submissions either way a like and subscribe would be awesome all right thank you